there comes a time where Duck the Stars has to do another crappy video game review with his 2005 camera. But which game to pick? Oh, hello. Don't you guys just love the sound of a GameCube booting up? Hi guys, I'm Duck of the Stars. Welcome to another shitty review. Mm. Pardon my French there. Uh, yeah, if you can't tell already, we're gonna uh, be taking a quick peek at what I think is one of the most underrated game boot games in the entire library. Given bad reviews for not being a Mario game, instead it's a Luigi game because nobody loves Green Mario. Sorry about the quality. I just feel like it would be more appropriate to put it in a uh, very bad camera angle to represent how much funding we get. So hey, you want to fund us? Uh, go ahead, I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, but the graphics for this, I want to say the first time I saw this on a YouTube video, I saw the uh, final boss of this. My friend showed it to me about like five years ago. Uh, I guess I should start with what it is. Uh, for those of you who don't know who, what Luigi's Mansion is, which, by the way, is the name of the game, for those of you who don't know, uh, it probably will be in the title somewhere. But, the cool thing about this is that they mix Mario characters with Ghostbusters. I honestly thought it was a really good idea. Apparently, many other people did not think so. Uh, so, the plot of this is, you, you win a mansion. I think most of you know the plot already, but you win this mansion, and it appears to be haunted, and Mario is missing, and this, I guess, could be considered the unofficial sequel of that, uh, Super Nintendo game, except this time it's good. Though, so many, many people say that since it's not Mario, it's not good. I beg to differ. Uh, it's quite a unique... Unique, unique way of uh, expanding the series. I think it's a very good idea. I'm surprised it didn't sell as well as they thought it would. Uh, I mean, I guess they could have started off with the new Mario game. But, hey, what's wrong with this? Oh, this is a key. Many doors are locked, and then you see on this map where it locks in. I'm, uh, I'm right here. I need to be... Well, I'll show you. But back to graphics. Uh, the first time I saw this, I was like, holy crap, this worked on a, uh, this worked on a GameCube. Yeah, this is the first thing I ever saw was this cutscene right here. Not this exact cutscene, but, uh, door opening cutscene. I don't see why people hate it so much. I guess it's because it's not advanced enough. It's pretty straightforward of a game. I mean, up to this point, I would say. Oh, you guys probably can't see the text. Uh. Yeah, so... It's supposed to be terrifying, and I'll admit... When it was in development, I saw a couple looks on that. This cannot be rated E. And it wasn't. Apparently it was rated T. Uh, they apparently toned it down quite a bit, though, as they were able to receive the E rating. So kudos to Nintendo. I believe the star in the uh, corner means that you have a... Uh, made it to the hidden mansion. I am really bad at this game. I haven't played in a long time. So, this is one of the bosses. What you're supposed to do is take a, uh, take an ice power up and freeze all the goons that make one Oh, That's the main enemy. Well, not the main enemy. There are other ghosts that never made a returning appearance. But, hey, that's alright. Uh, because we got new ghosts in the 3DS version, which probably is the one that many people have now played. Which is kind of sad, because I believe this version to be the better version. 
I mean, sure, the new one has more content, but let's face it, what do we prefer more, Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers USA, or I guess the one that wasn't really a Mario game? Oh my gosh, I can't. Yeah, the, uh, as far as controls, they're pretty solid, though you don't lock onto the ghosts, or at least the booze, so it's really hard to, I mean, I, that was the point, to make it hard, but it's an insanely difficult process to get them, and uh, some of them have up to 500 health, these don't have any health for some reason, and hey, I'm not complaining, uh, but what you're trying to do is get Mario back, and that's really, oh, yeah, that's, as I figured, okay. Uh, we'll see if I can manage to pull this off. I haven't. Oh, okay. I don't think I will be. As I have two health left. Oh, wow. There we go. Uh, you're supposed to be freezing them, but it's, I feel, literally impossible to accomplish at this point. I really forget what you're supposed to do. Though I am going to try something. Sorry for not saying much. Oh, not uh, yeah, and uh, this is the game over screen. In the original, something else would happen. I'm not going to explain it right now. I can save that for another video. Uh, I guess I can look and see if there's another file that I can show that I won't die in a minute on. Uh, so you usually meet up here and you decide where you want to go. Uh, it's a really unique experience, but I don't know who I want to recommend it for. According to many people, not the competitive people, I would honestly agree with that. Uh, this game is not competitive in the least. It's supposed to be a fun experience, not a... Uh, not one that takes years of practice to master, but hey, yeah, I, I would say that, I would say that it does take a little while to get used to the controls, it's not, it's not a traditional Nintendo where it's A and B, and so as I can show you right here now, when uh, you have not passed an air, you get this spiderweb looking thing. Yeah, it's a really strange uh, concept, and maybe I can go over its development, because let me tell you, that is not a... Uh, it's not very similar from this final product. Let's see. I have no idea which rooms I have unlocked and which rooms I have locked. So bear with me. So yeah, when you capture a ghost, the mechanic works, you shine your flashlight on them, and you start sucking them up with this vacuum, which also collects a ton of dust, which really triggers me. Not, no, not, don't take that the wrong way. I guess what I meant to say would be triggering my OCD, which that is true. And yes, I have OCD. So I'm not, I'm not making a, I'm not making jokes. Okay. As you can obviously see, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, what I think I'm supposed to do is get this guy with the floating candle to come over with me, but I uh, don't know. It's been a long time since I've played. Yeah, this game is uh, really underrated, and I would suggest it for the people who just want to uh, good GameCube title. It's a good starter title. Um, it's really, it's really, um, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Really sad. I'm, I'm depressed that it didn't do as well as people thought.
It was a. It, it was different. Yeah. And people don't give that enough credit nowadays. When you look at. When you look at one, they, uh. They expect every single Call of Duty game to be the same with two new guns. That's why Infinite Warfare is not doing so well as it's been revealed so far. And hey, I don't. I don't blame them. They've been uh, used to this one thing, one mechanic. But that's on them. Alright, now we're getting started. Okay. Yeah, and they have interesting rooms, like this one where you cannot see anything. And then you get caught by them. So yeah, this is this is a normal ghost in which you can latch onto them. Uh, suck them up. Sucking up ghosts was never really of use until the the new installment, in which you would get like a little counter to see how many ghosts you got. This you just suck them up and get coins, which I'm not doing so well with right now. I believe you can catch more go more ghosts than uh, I think you can catch like three at once. Uh, yeah, it's a really it's a really underappreciated game just because it wasn't Ma Super Mario, uh, and that's what I find super sad about it. It's it doesn't deserve all the hate that it got. Well, I'm not doing well. There's actually a actually is a pretty nice soundtrack. I mean, you really only hear the one, but there are other there are other soundtracks. Like over the, in fact, there's a soundtrack that plays really lightly when you uh, start sucking up the ghost. But yeah, the soundtrack wasn't uh, super important to them, so they didn't do much of it. Uh, and that's what happens when you clear room, the lights go on, chest appears. You can take what you want. This is a fire medallion, which is another cool uh, fact about this game. In which you can suck up certain elements and then spew them out of your vacuum. Uh, I think I think they really took the most of what they were given with the GameCube controller. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really, really casual game. But if you, if you're someone who just got a GameCube and you're, you don't want to exactly save up for melee yet, if you want to be competitive, uh, if you want to get a few other games first, yeah, I definitely recommend this for you. Oh, then there's a boo radar that allows you to locate all the boos and track them down. There's not nearly as many. See, he only has 40 HP, and he can escape the room if he's being tantalized like I am doing to him right now. And you see, I can't, it really doesn't lock onto him, so that's what makes them special. Uh, and then you send him off to your little bunker. <coughs> Alright, I need to wrap this up. I just realized that my camera has reached about 13 minutes, 37 seconds as of right then. Uh... But that's too long. I've been rambling on about useless stuff. So yeah, uh, final, final rating. It's not, it's not any Super Mario 64. It's not any Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, but I would definitely give it nine out of, t or I guess not nine, eight point five. I'd give it because. Really, there are not many games that could receive a 9, and I'll be covering some of those later on. Uh, but that will be all. Thank you for enduring this.